I represent Mitsubishi Chemical, senior chief scientist at uh, Mitsubishi Chemical. I would like to talk about the introduction of quantum computing activities at Mitsubishi Chemical. I would like to refer to the R&D activities and the status of the development. And let me share with you our impressions. We are involved in the R&D uh, at the Mitsubishi Chemical R&D strategy, intellectual property, business strategies. Are those the three strategies are integrated and uh, for the eventual commercialization of the technology. The R&D strategy, we have three technological platforms, molecular, functional design, and the common platform technology. Uh, there are 12 laboratories comprising uh, the R&D sector. Please, uh, I'd like to call attention to the digital uh, material science. That is the blue area. We have the laboratory dedicated to the digital material uh, science. Uh, utilizing the computational approach to accelerate the R&D in broad ranging area to create values in a broad sense. Quantum computing activities is taking place at Digital Material Science Lab. Uh, quantum computing, what we'd like to make use of the quantum computing eventually. Quantum computing uh, uh, is the trigger of the new digital paradigm. That is the awareness of Mitsubishi Chemical by harnessing this technology, value chain, R&D, manufacturing, uh, purchasing, and logistics, and sales and service. In all of those areas, quantum computing will be applied eventually to create values. In order to achieve that, uh, 2018 IBM Q Network a hub at Keio University. We participated in this hub at Keio University. We began activities. In, by, in, this was established in 2018. This is the very f only, uh, the first uh, uh, IBM quantum computing, uh, the access enablement through their cloud. The uh, domestic hub companies and overseas companies and IBM researchers' uh, collaboration was enabled across the boundaries of the uh, sectors, uh, accelerating the collaboration. In the Q-Hub, uh, quantum application commercialization or the uh, research have been accelerated, new material exploration, molecular design, and uh, real material of the financial computation, drug discovery, and machine learning. MF, uh, the MUFG, Mitsubishi Chemical, Mizuho, and JSR, and the, the list of participants expanded to eight companies involved in this uh, collaboration. Each year, the activities have been expanded with new participants, so I'd like to refer to the outcome that have been enjoyed and achieved by Mitsubishi Chemical Holdings. KO University and uh, ABM and other uh, collaborating uh, companies such as uh, I MUFG, Mizuho, JSR, and we have been involved in the uh, primarily in quantum chemistry and quantum AI. The characterization of those research is the lithium air battery, organic uh, EL soldiers as the actual material we are targeting for the research. The outcome, for instance, the American Chemical Society and Nature publication, we have published uh, articles at uh, physical chemistry, uh, the uh, the uh, the publications lithium air battery. This is the outcome. This is the first uh, research we have conducted. Q hub. So the lithium ion battery is currently utilized. However, in terms of energy density, lithium air battery is featured by five times as much energy density. So this is very promising candidate of technology for the batteries, but. There is a challenge of instability because of the in the discharging reaction there are side reactions or the by uh, reactions and that has had adverse impact upon maintenance of stability for lithium uh, the air battery so uh, utilizing quantum uh, computation approach uh, those mechanisms should be elucidated to overcome the stability problem to accelerate lithium air battery uh, research uh, way forward. The objective of this lithium air battery research is that 
model uh, the computation of a reaction utilizing quantum computing. To what extent quantum computing will be applicable? And what we would like to achieve a certain level of accuracy of computation. So that is another area, another objective to be achieved. Uh, there are three teams, the group uh, the, led by myself, Mitsubishi Chemical, and Dr. Jem, Dr. Nakamura, uh, led by IBM researchers, uh, Professor Yamamoto of uh, KO team. So the, the three teams that uh, have collaborated, the figure in the middle indicates the outcome of the computation. Lithium, uh, the uh, Four atoms of uh, oxygen and lithium are uh, the molecules of them. This is very small, the uh, structure and discharging reaction uh, takes place. The IBM quantum computing on the actual machine computation was conducted representing red and green and the orange high co uh, the computation accuracy. Uh, this is the re reproduction of the classical computer outcome to comparing the accuracy of the versus the classical computing and quantum computing. In comparison, what I'd like to say at this juncture is the quantum computing uh, there is the issue of no noise. So the computation accuracy is compromised by the the uh, the noise on the, the right hand side on the far right hand uh, left hand side the straight uh, quantum computing on the right hand side the exact solution uh, there is a wide gap uh, between the exact solution so the uh, the raw the outcome as is out of the com quantum computing is useless the state of tomography that is second from the right that is a te technology that is employed. So the two millihatry, that is the, the error that we can control down to two milli, so we are able to re reduce the error range. And the outcome of this research, uh, we have made a joint uh, collaborative publication out of this uh, finding, TADF Organic uh, EL, the luminescent the organic EL, the display, uh, this is, uh, we need uh, different colors, such as green, red, and uh, uh, blue. So, the, so those are three colors. Long uh, uh, the duration and lifespan is required. Uh, green and red live up to the expectation uh, by the market, but the blue colors, the efficiency of the luminescence is uh, very low. So we are trying to achieve TADF material, that the gen next generation, uh, single and triplet uh, excitation, the delta ES. T, uh, that is the energy difference, this is very small. By utilizing the small delta EST of 100% uh, luminescent uh, efficiency can be utilized in organic LED. So this is an attractive uh, material. Out of the TLDFT material uh, covered by our patents, delta EST, uh, the computation was conducted with the quantum computing and the and compared versus the experimented value, how uh, the reproducible, the uh, experiment uh, versus the, the actual measurement versus the simulation. The simulator uh, is the idealistic, the computing, so we can uh, narrow the gap between the computated uh, results and the simulated results. And uh, at the beginning, there is no correlation between the two. So lithium air battery, uh, we have uh, achieve, achieved the methodology. This could be applied to the excitation. Uh, therefore, uh, we uh, were able to achieve the, uh, the correlation uh, between the experimental results and simulated results. And we have published the uh, paper on the basis of this. Uh, the research in the area of the AI classification, the society is driven by the data. The data is uh, volume is exponentially growing. The value of the data, analysis of the data. Uh, if you spend too much, too much time in data analysis, the value of the data will be 
uh, compromise. Therefore, the, uh, there is the need for the real-time analysis of the data to maintain the data value. 2019 quantum computing was utilized by the uh, IBM successful with the machine learning and which was published in the Nature. So this is the new era dawning with the AI uh, area. Uh, the outcome of this research, we are highly interested uh, by this IBM achievement. Utilizing the IBM uh, methodology, we have conducted uh, test uh, computation depending on data pattern. Uh, there's a variation of the precision of the prediction, blue and orange, those two kinds of the data to classify them. Depending on the classification patterns, the accuracy may be as high as 0.97 or not so high, 0.81. In order to improve the accuracy of the computation, uh, improvement of the methodology have been added to the IBM uh, technology, uh, KO University, IBM, and Mizuho, uh, those are the collaborating entities. So, low chart. This is the IBM uh, the methodology. This is a hybrid of classical and computing. Uh, con quantum computing data has entered into classical computing and the kernel is established on top of the quantum computing. The kernel utilized for the data classification. How to make the uh, judgment based upon the analysis whether the kernel is good enough or not. Utilizing this methodology, non-linear, two-dimensional, a uh, two-way of the data classification was achieved, so responding to various patterns, we were able to achieve fairly good uh, outcome. So this result was also published in scientific paper. Uh, the quantum reservoir, uh, the quantum AI, risk uh, device, NISC device is noisy and that has negative impact upon the accuracy of the computation. This is the uh, reverse way of thinking. NISC device noises can be taken advantage of to make the uh, prediction uh, into the chronological data analysis. So this is the reservoir. So this is the green line, uh, the qubit. Uh, so this uh, dotted line, so the data is entered as they are, the block. The black lines the, in between the qubits, they are naturally occurring noises. Taking advantage of those noises, output uh, noises brings up a non-linearity. So taking advantage of non-linearity, learning will take place. Actually, the noises uh, reservoir uh, is uh, utilized and the making the data uh, prediction, so the accuracy is better than linear analysis. Uh, so for the actual commercialization, we have made the uh, approach. The sensor is attached to robotic arm. The sensor has the uh, can grab A, B, and C, three objects, and sensor data chronological learning, and the classification task was performed by the system, and the response rate was 95% uh, correct. So the prediction accuracy was fairly high. So together with Keio University, we made the, uh, we published this uh, research outcome. Material exploration, the, the quantum computing applied to MI, material informatics, ultimately one million uh, candidate what is the most suitable, uh, the structures? We need to expedite the exploration of the suitable uh, structure. LQ3, that is organic LED emitters. The uh, hydrogen atom blue, six of them. Uh, this could be replaced by the isotope, the pink. The experiment uh, proved uh, that the if the emitter efficiency is improved, but what molecule should be replaced by? So this is the H and G combination. What is the most efficient combination? So exploring the most uh, efficient combination by running the computation on quantum computing, quantum and the classic and the hybrid methodology utilizing machine learning so that the Hamiltonian 
uh, as established, so that will be suitable for the quantum computing and the structural exploration as conducted on quantum computing at IBM Kawasaki. In the middle, the computation was conducted, that is indicated in the middle chart. This is a larger scale, the, uh, the quantum circuits ever as in uh, 200 of them and the computation was achieved and IBM Kawasaki site after so much so many ingenuities added was suitable the material exploration was successful the outcome of this research together with IBM and Keio University uh, we have uh, uh, published this outcome research outcome uh, as a paper onto a journal so I have uh, shared with you the uh, QHub research outcome. There is a joint uh, collaboration with a startup company, QNASIS, that is the collaboration started in 2019. QNASIS is a representative startup company here in Japan, target is organic optical material as the target. So high precision optical property computation methodology to be established that cannot be solved by the conventional classical computing and uh, by 2025 uh, should be applicable to NISC and uh, to do so the application have been developed uh, together with the uh, IBM University of Osaka where the, some outcomes have been published and left hand side uh, the property uh, prediction on the right hand side is optical reaction excitation uh, reaction computation results. Uh, please uh, confirm uh, with the journal articles if you're interested. So my uh, observation is that Mitsubishi Chemical is utilizing QHub involved in the QHub collaboration. The greatest advantage is that the state of the art action machines can be utilized and we have experts available across various disciplines and so research environment is ideal and the open innovation involving Keio University, IBM and other participating private industry and we can accelerate the research. In the, uh, so far, into the near future, the user uh, companies uh, can see the potential as the technology, the quantum computing should be able to replace the classic uh, computer. Uh, so we need to commercialize the NISC, so can computation algorithm, as well as the noise is could be the issue. So the methodology to uh, the mitigate the error uh, will be required. There is a fierce competition taking place, uh, therefore we cannot uh, lag behind. Um, among the competitors involved in this uh, development. So the actual application, uh, it takes time. It would uh, take time uh, to apply the quantum computing. So we should not be uh, lag behind and we have to uh, get involved in research from a long-term perspective. I'd like to share with you. So this is the Chinese uh, proverb. If you'd like to achieve something, to make it successful, uh, there's a chance given by providence and geographical advantage and harmony amongst the stakeholders. Quantum computing, those three conditions are all met. Uh, concerning chance given by the providence, the, at the global level, the technological innovation is advancing for the quantum computing and geographical advantage. QHUB was est established 2018, so we have the uh, readily available access to actual machines in IBM and Tokyo University-led QII, the Quantum Innovation Initiative was established. Therefore, machine is available for the Japanese enterprises, which uh, accelerate the research and the harmony amongst the stakeholders. This is a long-term uh, research, so this requires understanding and support by the top executives within the Mitsubishi. We have the understanding of the uh, top executives uh, for this uh, the long-term research, and this is quite uh, beneficial for us that we are blessed with the stakeholders' harmony amongst the KO, IBM, and other participants at the Q Hub. We have been working together with more than two dozen people, and we have jointly published uh, papers at the uh, scientific 
scientific and uh, journals, and we have made some uh, research outcomes, domestic and overseas research. As a great thankful, I'd like to accelerate the collaboration with the fellow researchers. Thank you very much.